Hi, and in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to create a particle effect like you can see here. It's kind of like mist rolling along the ground. Um, this is not fog. Fog is a system effect uh, that Unity does, but this is a particle system. So let's go and do that right now. Let's just jump into Photoshop. I'll show you the image that I used for that. So here it is. This is the image, very simple. All it is, uh, so if I could do image size, it's a 512 by 512. It's quite big. It probably doesn't need to be that big for what it is, but uh, for now, that's fine. Uh, so cancel that. It's a, I've got three layers here, one background layer, which we're going to get rid of when we uh, save it out. Uh, the actual misty layer that I painted, uh, well, I actually got two of those, so I think I tried it with one and, and wanted to try it with another one on top, and it seemed better with, with both of them. But you can you just need an image that looks like that in the end, and, um, and then all you do is you just get rid of the black because you want to save this as a PNG. So if you flatten your layers, if you're not using Photoshop, you just, just create the same image, a PNG, with you know with a misty cloudy smoky effect like that um, and that will be fine you just merge the layers save as png like that and save it as particle dust now particle mist there we go i'll do this as particle mist 2 because i've already done it once so particle mist 2 there we go so just save that uh, just click OK that's fine so back into unity now okay we need to find this layer. I've created a particles a particles folder so if you just right click inside here create an empty like that um, and then just call it you know particles like this this is where all our particle systems are going to live. Well, in fact, I've already done it there, you can see. Um, so I'll delete that one. So this is where our particles live. Just create an empty, call it particles, and then we'll put all our particle systems in one place. Now we just bring our particle into, uh, into our assets folder here. Um, just like I've done in my scene, I've created a folder just for particles here. So you should do the same. Just right click inside here, create folder and call it particles like I've done here. And now let go and find your particle that you just created. Particle mist 2 we called it. And then just bring it in and just drop it in like so. Click on it. And up here in the texture type, set it to uh, Sprite 2D UI, like so. Apply. There we go, and you'll get that kind of effect. Now, you need to create a material to put your particle image into. So just right click, create a material, like so. And you'll see it here. And call it Mist. I'm going to call mine 2, because I've already done it. But you can just call yours Mist like that up in where it says standard double click come down click particles click additive for now just so as we've got the particle system in place and come over here grab your image and drag it in to this place here where there's a texture space for it and let it go and there we have our material mist to set up so let's just come over back from this scene and create a particle system out here so we can see what's going on um so click on your photo particles and uh, go to create a particle system like so boom and one will appear straight away like this up in the air somewhere some weird place you can see it here Like so, and there it is. Let's just focus on that. It's way too far. There we go. Okay, so now 
We're going to change the name of this particle system so we know what it is. Um, we're going to call it particles mist two, so it's in line with my image and my material, and then my particle system is called mist two as well. So just turn on that. Okay, so the next thing is to get your particle material on here. So you just mist two, just get it out and drag it into the system. So there's a, and drop it, and you'll see it change. You'll see your particle change. Doesn't look very attractive right now, but we're going to change all that very quickly. So let's start at the top here, and really, this is just all about you changing all these but there's tons and tons of values here which which you know you can change if you open them all up it just goes on and on forever some of these we're not going to use some we will um you know but there's a lot so i'll t just show you some of the basics and then best thing you can do is just go through slide some values tweak some values and see what works for you more than anything you know this is about experimentation more than anything um, okay, so the first thing we do is we're going to pre-warm. Pre-warm will set the system going when you crank up your scene. It will already be going. It won't sort of warm up. So it's pre-warm. So that's really important. So tick that. Uh, duration. This is how long the particle lasts. We want a fairly decent time length on that. So we'll crank that up to around 35. Okay, we want it to. This is how long. The particle sort of stays alive. So it's quite 24. And you can see it's drifting off much further now. And start speed. This is five is probably about right. So if you make it higher, you know, play with these values. So you see it coming out quite quickly. That's probably a bit too fast. If you put it down. Yeah, it's about five. Five is probably good. So we'll leave it on that. Okay, start 3D size. 3D start size. Pfft, doesn't really matter. We don't need that. Now, start color. This is quite important. You can choose whatever color you want, really. Um, whatever color you know what you want your particle, your mist to be. If you've got some sort of fantasy setting, maybe you want it blue or red or some other weird color it's, up, it's entirely up to you but we'll leave this in the sort of bluey tin you know white with a tinge of blue i think um don't want any gravity on this at all because uh, we want it to drift we'll leave that set to local simulation speed i could probably turn that down a little bit so it's because you want them, you want it mist. You want the whole thing to be gentle because this is going to be a mist effect. Maximum particles, that's probably way too many there. We can reduce the maximum particles it's going to draw at any one time. Oh, it's half that. That's probably, that's probably, that's plenty. And we'll leave that. Okay, so that's that. Let's go on to the, to the next. Okay, so right over time, this is the number of particles it emits within a second. And I think I had mine up around about 30. So every second it will emit 30 particles. It's going to cover quite a big area once we've finished. I'll leave rate over distance. It's fine. Go into shape. You want that to be cone, which it is. And uh, you want to sort of ch change the radius. You want it quite big because you want it to be... Um, Let's cover quite a big area. Let's just rotate it as well. So is it? You know, we're gonna we want it drifting across the sort of landscape a little bit. If you change the radius, you know it it brings it down to it brings the sort of nozzle at the end down, and you know, increasing it gives it a much wider 
um, sort of distance it can travel if you like let's just turn down that because it's I think it's doing a few too many at any any one time yeah so spread you know, okay so that's fine for that There you go, so we can limit the velocity over time. Um, I think the speed, there you go. Yeah, we won't have that velocity, just limit it to two uh, over any one time. That's a nice slow drift. Um, okay, so we're not gonna do, we're not gonna use velocity over, t over lifetime. Uh, we're gonna use limit velocity over time. So if we tick that, Make it a two. You get, you know, the slower, lower that is, the <laughs> naught just sits there like some sort of cloudy thing. Uh, so if you make that one, it'll be really slow. I think it's too slow. Make it two. Speed it up a little bit. There you go. Some kind of gentle drifty driftiness. Um, force over lifetime. Color over lifetime. Okay, this is an interesting one. You want to change the color. So what you want to do with this? Tick the little box, click on there, and this is a, an interesting, and this is an interesting little panel. Um, you can change the colour of your particle over over its lifetime. Um, I think I had some sort of like, I think we set the start to some like bluish. But what's most important about this is the alpha. You can see this is all solid colour, so it pops. And then when it gets to the end, it just disappears. So we can change that. Um, we can change the alpha so that it's zero at the start. If you click in here, we can, between there and there, we can make it solid so it gradually comes into focus you can see it's very much it's much softer which is good because it doesn't pop on the screen and we need to do the same for the end so just click that and then click the end one and you can see the little blue highlight you know when it's selected and just drop that alpha down so now it will gradually fade out and gradually fade on at the start and the longer that is, the further away from the start that is, the um, longer it will take to come on. So you can see now we're starting to get some, let's just pull that back down. We're starting to get a sort of feeling of mist. Let's just pull that down to the, to the ground a little bit. There we go, so that's quite cool. Uh, size of a lot of time. Okay, and this is the same really. So you want this to be, so you can see it's got its own little gizmo here. So what we want to do is make it small at the start, make it big, 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 and then shrink down uh, by the end. Uh, so if we, you can tick, you can cl double click on the red line and you get an, another keyframe. So you can pull this up like so pull that down so at the end it is nothing and okay just tweak your little gizmo arms there to get a good value good size we we'll change the overall size of this uh, in a moment so it's much much bigger I think as well let's go back to the top let's change the uh, start uh, start size there we go we can crank that up let's make it big I forgot to do that at the start so let's make this six yeah there we go make it eight there we go it's very, very misty like Pull that down. It's quite big, so we can shrink the system as well. So we go to our um, shape, 
Let's just bring this radius down so it's not quite so big a system. We don't need it that big. There we go, pull it down some more. Now obviously it depends where you want where you set this. Um, mine is sort of like set over here and it sort of comes on. I think the system is in there and it drifts just drifts off and turns off. So but you know having this going through woods through the trees looks pretty creepy as you can see it looks quite eerie really nice effect you have multiples what multiple systems you don't just necessarily have to have one um, that's my camera view that's my first person camera view which is taking in a bit of this but you can see further on oh, it's very subtle it's a lot more subtle than what this is so we need to work on this some more so if we keep going down uh, start color I think you can change the alpha yeah there we go so let's just bring this alpha down on the start there we go that'll do for now just so that you can see it you can choose how visible you want your mist sort of layer um it's entirely up to you yep there we go okay so let's turn that back up i think that's a good size and turn that back up turn that back in lifetime of i think that's quite cool because it's got a nice arch there it, um, it'll fade on when it starts and then fade off shrink when it ends when it dies what we want to do now is get it rolling so it looks like it's because uh, it's pretty static at the moment uh, rotation over lifetime so tick that And then you can see it's kind of rolling now, which is quite cool. And that gives it a swirly sort of look. There you go, you can see that happening now. And it's even better when the sort of particles overlap because it gives it a much more of a, a misty, swirly look. And you know, that's pretty much it, really. It's, in, you know, you just need to play with all these values. Um, and see what you can come up with really but that's essentially how you create a particle system a misty particle system yeah there you go that's pretty creepy pretty pretty cool so there we go I hope that's helped you um i'll show you i'll show you other ones because i'm going to set up some fire as well for our bins up there by the hut and um so for now that's it i'll see you in the next lecture